Hey guys, it's Emmanuel back here with another video. So today we're currently here at Dubai International Airport because we're gonna be traveling all over Europe. So our first stop will be Hungary, then from Hungary we'll take a bus to Austria, and from Austria a bus to Hungary again, and then from Hungary to Spain. And the reason for all of this traveling is because I'm gonna do something that I've been thinking about since I was a little kid, which is having three meals in three different countries in one single day. So that's that, and I'll see you guys in Hungary. So I just arrived here in Budapest city center and to be honest guys I don't really know what to do here it's currently two o'clock in the morning all I know is that I'm starving and I'm trying to look for some Hungarian food to indulge in just before I take another bus to Vienna so I just found some food to eat um, unfortunately it's not Hungarian food because all of the Hungarian places are closed now and um, the ones that are open is in a very sketchy place and I was like I'm not gonna risk it today so I found this um, I don't know if it's Turkish food but it's it has some Hungarian name, but yeah, it looks pretty good. It's just some chicken breast with some cheese on top of it and tomato rice. Just something simple to start the day because I'm really, really starving right now. Then right after this, I'm gonna go take a taxi or a bus to Kellenfold because I'm gonna take the bus to Austria, um, to Vienna, and then yeah. I'm just gonna go dig in and eat some food here, guys. So guess who just paid $50 for a four kilometer taxi ride? This guy. So apparently um, 20,000 Hungarian currency, whatever it's called, is actually 200 dirhams, which is close to around $50. I thought it was 20 dirhams, which is around $5. So I paid $50 for a four kilometer taxi ride. So that was my first rookie mistake. And yeah, it is what it is. You just gotta deal with the things that you face. Anyways, I'm at the bus now. I'm gonna go to Vienna. Hopefully none of this stuff happen again and this time I actually learn from my stupid mistakes. So we just arrived here in Vienna, we're at the bus station called Erdberg. Now we're gonna go to Vienna city center because we're gonna go have some breakfast and we're gonna meet a friend there. So we're currently here looking for the metro station because I don't wanna pay $50 for a taxi again. So I'm gonna find my way through the metro station. So we're currently here in the Nature Histories Museum. I don't know if that's the right English translation. The German version is just really, really hard to pronounce. I'm currently in the back side right now. I thought this was the front side, but then I couldn't find the entrance. So let's go to the front side and see what we can do there. I'm also planning to fly the drone, but I'm scared to risk it because I don't really know the loss here. I searched it up and they said that drones over 250 grams should be licensed. And fortunately, I don't have a license for my drone. Another spot here is the Volkstheater. I don't know what they do there, but that's what it looks like. Let me just adjust the exposure. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's just some theater. I think they do some plays there and all that stuff, obviously, because it's a theater, right? What I mean, why am I even explaining this? Um, <laughs> wow. This view is amazing. So I just arrived here at Stefanstone, which is a very famous church here in Vienna. And I just met with my friend Aviv. Hi! Yeah, so she's touring me around the city. Then right after this, we're gonna have our first meal, which is a breakfast place here in Vienna. And we're gonna have those Kaiserschmann, which is a pancake dish that is um, Viennese. So yeah, I'm um, really looking forward to that. I'm just gonna show you some um, B-roll of this beautiful church because it's absolutely amazing. Then I woke myself up, painted the scene they got My queen bee swinging to my son as I lay by It's how I want it so This is our breakfast here in, what's, the place, what's this place Hofburg. called? Hofburg 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 And um, we're having, I forgot the name Kaiserschma which is like a pancake dish with some apricot on top and some powdered sugar It's gonna be my first time to try this And uh, I wanna say thank you to Aviv for bringing me to this place No worries, all we right. need a reaction, we need a reaction Reaction, alright, perfect yeah.
Oh yeah. It's yeah. It's really good. It's really good. Guys, remember when you visit Vienna, go to Demel and ask for Kaiserschmarrn. Is that correct? Kaiserschmarrn. Exactly. Kaiserschmarrn. Yeah, I got it, guys, <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> Demel has the best Kaiserschmarrn. If you want to sit down there, uh -huh. you should probably pre-order a table. Yeah, because um, it's always filled. So that's why we're eating here outside instead. Because so go. you can get more of the city. Yeah, so exactly. City. Five hours in Vienna was worth the traveling because <laughs> um, I'm spending six hours in the bus. So I'm in the bus more than I'm staying in Vienna. So I guess um, it was really worth um, coming here. Food is amazing, the place is amazing. And I can't wait to go here back again. I think this Christmas, uh, I think it's Hopefully. the perfect place to spend yes. Christmas, yeah. And are you planning actually to go to the United States? Travel I've, been, I've been wanting to go for like the longest time, but I swear, they just don't accept our visas. I don't, they just don't accept us. Mm -hmm. They keep on putting us on the waiting list. But lately we haven't tried because it's always been full, mm -hmm. the appointments. And um, my uncle just became a United States citizen, so I think now he can help us, but we've never tried. So maybe mm. a few um, next year, I guess, um, I'll try to visit there because there's a lot of nice cool. places to visit yeah. too, you know. Especially in, um, in the western side where mm -hmm. you can visit the Grand Canyon and yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't Hopefully know if... want to visit the Grand Canyon yeah. ones. Because I don't know if New York still like really like uh, captures my eye because I live in Dubai, so mm -hmm. not sure. Yeah. But... I definitely want to go to the nature side of things there. How how safe is Vienna compared to other European cities? It's like, pretty safe. Pretty safe, it's, right? I can tell. Yeah, it's It's really not like safe. Barcelona. I think in mm -hmm. Barcelona there's more pickpockets going on. Like, yeah. your stuff will get stolen mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And Out here it's pretty safe. Like, there's yeah. really a lot of police driving around. Yeah. And you don't really see a lot of conflicts here, let's yeah. say, like that. So it's pretty. I can tell. Safe. I mean, the fact that you got, that their metro doesn't have those gates, you can mm -hmm. just pass through. Yeah. It says yeah. a lot about the people that live here. Yeah. So we're here at the bus terminal again because we're going to be headed back to Budapest. And I gotta say, you guys, Vienna was magical. Um, the places were amazing. Architecture was beautiful. It's basically just like a more laid-back version of Paris, where there's less pollution and more. So my mic just cut off, which is really unfortunate, but what I was trying to say here is that Vienna gives the same vibes of Paris minus the tourists, which makes it really, really good. I mean, there are tourists, but it's not as much compared to Paris. Um, and I also wanted to thank V for touring me around this place, because without her, I really don't know what I would have done here. Um, she was a great tour guide and really made the most out of the three hours touring around the city. So yeah, I'm now going to be heading to Hungary, Budapest, so that I can have my second meal for today. So unfortunately, the mic was turned off in this footage too, which is really, really annoying. Um, this was my second meal in Hungary, which is my second meal in my second country. And I had just like a bacon um, sandwich because there's nothing really else there in the airport. There's no traditional Hungarian dish. I wanted to try the goulash, but it wasn't there. So I had to settle for this one. I also had the cake, which is honestly, it was not that good and the Irish coffee, which is basically just coffee mixed with some alcohol. And to be honest with you guys, I don't really recommend that because it was really, really strong, even for me who drinks a lot of vodka. So yeah, mainly because the alcohol was hot and was like really burning my throat. So yeah, I'll see you guys in Barcelona. Feeling haunted the way she goes and I make eye contact. Both of our tummies making the same tune. Heat up the grill and we filling up with the same food. She a 10 but she fit it with Adidas a size 9. Somehow we'll be feeling like we the same. After a long and stressful journey, I finally arrived here in Barcelona. I had a two hour delay and then the bus, I don't know which one to take so Took me a long ass time just to get to this place and I'm really, really starving right now. So I'm just gonna go settle down for a bit. Then I'm gonna go head down to get some food in and to accomplish my third meal for the day in my third country, Spain. So that's that, I'll see you guys downstairs. So I just found a pizza place just right below my um, apartment and I'm getting a barbacoa pizza cause that's like the only option that seemed really good. Um, I'm eating outside here in a bench right in the middle of the city. Mainly because the, all of the places are closing down and I don't really want to eat in my room because I don't want it to smell and stuff. So I'm going to eat here and feel the whole Barcelona experience, you guys. I'm going to dig in for my last meal. Okay, that sounds really messed up. Like my last meal for today and complete the three meals in three different countries. So this is my last meal for my third country, which is Spain. And yeah, that's really all I have for today, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Good. It's all good, and that's good, that's good